This Focus on Health segment is brought to you by Aurora Healthcare. Hello and welcome to Focus on Health. I'm Ted Stefaniak. Today we're heading over to the Aurora Medical Center in Oshkosh. We're going to be speaking with pharmacist Andrew Russell about a new vaccination that could help prevent shingles. One. Thank you for joining us. We're talking about a newer shingles vaccine, but before we get too far into the vaccine, I want to quickly review shingles. What is shingles and, and what do people need to look for in terms of shingles? Sure. So uh, shingles is a uh, re-manifestation of the chickenpox virus. So if you've had chickenpox in the past, the virus is uh, laying dormant in your, basically in your immune system and your nerve cells. And um, as we get older, as our immune system tends to wane a little bit, the virus reestablishes itself and it reestablishes itself as uh, shingles, right? So it's a viral infection. Um, basically what people can watch out for is um, rashing and then the rash is usually in like a, a longer stripe around the torso area, can show up on the face. Um, the rash tends to be pretty painful uh, mm. for some people and then the pain from the rash can last for a few months to even years. So it's really important for folks to consider um, vaccination against the shingles. It's not something you want. Sure. And, and I would imagine, is this an, uh, an older person type of issue that, that we should be worried about? Sure. So shingles can affect anybody really, but it's more prevalent in our older patient population. Okay. Um, so we recommend vaccination for people over 50 currently. Okay. Regardless of whether you have symptoms or not? If you currently have symptoms of shingles, we would want you to wait until your rash at least cross over or your symptoms go away. Um, we don't want to give you the vaccine while you have the active infection. Okay. Let's talk about this brand new vaccine and, and why are you so excited about this one? Uh, so the new vaccine is called Shingrix. Uh, we're pretty excited about this new vaccine because the protection is a lot greater. Um, the old Zostavax vaccine that we discussed previously is about 50% effective at preventing the shingles. This new Shingrix vaccine has been shown to be about 90 to us up to as high as about 97% effective at preventing shingles, which is a significant improvement. Um, so we're really recommending this new one over that old Zostavax vaccine. So how is Shingrix administered? So Shingrix is a little different than um, Zostavax in that it's an intramuscular injection. So it goes into the muscle of the upper arm. Um, and then uh, it's also a two-part series. So um, it'll be two doses, uh, one on day one, and then the second dose we administer two to six months later. Okay, which is a little bit different than the, the Zostavax vaccine. Um, the other good part about the Shingrix vaccine is that it's not a live virus vaccine like Zostavax. So people that have certain um, immunocompromising uh, diseases are, are eligible for the new Shingrix. Uh, because it's more effective, uh, the CDC and the ACIP have also expanded the age range for their recommendation from 60 uh, and up for Zostavax to 50 and up for the shingles vaccine. So um, we're really excited about this being a new, uh, more effective vaccine. What if somebody's already had the previous vaccine? Should I still consider Shingrix? Great question. Because the Shingrix vaccine is so much more effective than the Zostavax vaccine, we are recommending people get revaccinated with the Shingrix vaccine uh, just to ensure they have that adequate protection that it, uh, that it provides. Okay, so it's, there's gonna be two injections over time yep. with this. Any side effects to this? So um, the, the downfall of the, the increased effectiveness of the Shingrix vaccine is that we have seen more um, side effects with it, okay? Um, We've had a lot of people reporting some muscle aches and pains after getting it. A lot of people are comparing it to a, a tetanus shot, um, mm -hmm. so a little soreness for a few days. Usually that will go away after a day or two. Um, some other side effects that we're seeing, people are getting um, what are called injection site reactions, which is basically any time that you put something foreign into the body. Uh, mm -hmm. Sometimes it overreacts a little bit and you get um, some redness in the area, some swelling. Um, if that were to happen, we can uh, just put like a cold compress or some ice on there, uh, take some Benadryl, that usually clears that up pretty quick. Some people, I would say, a, a little more rare, but some people have been getting flu-like symptoms after the vaccine. So you're looking at headaches, chills, nausea, upset stomach, that kind of thing. Um, but I think it's also important to note that 
a day or two of, of, of those kind of symptoms is much better than uh, about a shingle. So, okay, if you have a reaction to that first injection, okay. would you still have that second injection or? Right, um, so in the studies of the vaccine, they found that a reaction to the first dose of the vaccine is not indicative of a reaction to the second dose. Um, so we are still recommending you get both, both doses of the series, especially because both doses um, are required to get that 90% or greater immunity from, from the, the shingles. Okay. Do I need to check with my primary care provider, my physician to get a prescription for this? Uh, prescriptions are preferred if you wanna bring it into the pharmacy. However, you don't need to. Um, at Aurora Pharmacy, we have a, uh, a vaccine collaborative practice agreement, so we can, we can vaccinate um, anybody that would want the shingles vaccine. Yeah, so um, I would say give the pharmacy a call. We can, uh, Take a look at your insurance coverage. Uh, Medicare Part D plans are covering the vaccine at the pharmacy and not the doctor's office. So it'll be important for, for patients to get in touch with the pharmacy to see what their uh, coverage looks like at the pharmacy. We can run the claim um, and we can let you know your copay before you come in. A lot of plans are covering it at no charge, which is nice. Um, but yeah, I would, I would recommend giving the pharmacy a call um, before coming in. Uh, however, if that's not a possibility, come on in and we can uh, can get you set up. Yeah, but this can be done right at the pharmacy. Yep, right at the pharmacy um, here at the uh, Aurora Pharmacy here in Oshkosh. We do them um, between the hours of 9 and 5 are best, but we're open 8 to 8, uh, Monday through Friday, and we'd be happy to, to help anybody receive this vaccine. Is it a costly uh, vaccine? Sure. So it is a little more expensive than that Zostavax vaccine mm -hmm. uh, as far as cash paying is concerned. Because it is a two-part series, you're looking at uh, somewhere around $250 cash price for um, both injections, which is a little more expensive than that Zostavax. Um, we do have uh, some Aurora Pharmacy discount programs that we offer that can maybe reduce that price a little bit, and we'd be happy to work with folks on the pricing. Okay, great information today. We appreciate you taking Sounds some time. Good. Thanks for having me back again. Now it's important to know that you can walk into any one of our Aurora pharmacies and get this vaccination. If you have some questions about this brand new shingles vaccination, you can always call the pharmacy or talk to your primary care provider right here at Aurora at 303-8700. We'll see you next time on Focus on Health. This Focus on Health segment has been brought to you by Aurora Healthcare.